Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at wiring a stack light to a PLC, best practices. A stack light is a valuable tool for displaying the status of a machine or process. This is used to draw the operator's attention to the operation or condition of the machine. It is usually a vertical tower of colored lights programmed to turn on and off in various combinations to indicate different conditions. For example, a green light may indicate that a machine is operating while a red light may indicate that it is not running. In addition to the lights, a stack light may also include a horn or buzzer to provide audible feedback. To use a stack light with a programmable logic controller or PLC, you need to wire it to the outputs of the PLC and program the controller to control the light. This article will discuss the five step best practices for testing and wiring a stack light to a PLC and programming it for optimal performance. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. The website offers extensive links, reference, and coding examples, making a one-stop shop for all your automation inquiries. accautomation.ca Step 1. Choose the right stack light. Before testing and wiring stack light to a PLC, you must choose the right one for your application. Stack lights come in different sizes, shapes, and colors and some models include a horn or buzzer. Consider the following factors when selecting the right stack light. The number of lights. Stack lights can come in two, three, four, or more lights. Choose the number of lights based on the conditions you need to display. The colors of lights. Stack lights can have red, green, yellow, blue, or white lights. Choose the colors based on the conditions you need to display. For example, green may indicate that the machine is operating, while red may indicate that it is not running. The size and shape of the stack light. Stack lights come in different sizes and shapes. Choose the size and shape that will fit your application. This is usually determined by the visibility of the light at a distance. Manufacturers typically add more LED lights to increase visibility. The voltage and current rating of the stack light. Stack lights are available in different voltage and current ratings. Choose the voltage and current rating that matches the output of your PLC. Step 2. Testing the stack light. Getting new equipment is always exciting. Always read the instructions and review the wiring diagram of any equipment before wiring the device. Our stack light is a model HY-3W-8Z. The output supply is 12 to 24 volt DC. Looking at the wiring diagram, we can connect the zero volts DC to the black wire of the stack light. We can test each light by connecting the corresponding wire to the plus VDC. In our case, this is 24 volts DC. Our stack light has a switch on each light to allow the light to flash automatically if the output is on. This will save you from programming this feature in the PLC or circuit. Twist the base to remove the lens of the lights. Turn on a switch of the corresponding color light. You will see the light will flash when we test the light. We will keep the light on steady, which is the default. Replace the lens cover of the stack light. Step 3. Wiring the stack light to the PLC. Once you have selected and tested the right stack light for your application, you need to wire it to the output of the PLC. We will use four relay outputs on the Click PLC to control the stack light. Follow these steps to wire the stack light to the PLC. Turn off the power to the machine or process. Identify outputs on the PLC that you will use to control the stack light. Connect the positive plus terminal of the power supply to the output common of the PLC. Connect the negative terminal or black of the stack light to the common terminal or zero volt DC of the power supply. This was previously done during our testing. Connect the green, yellow, red, and horn wires to the output terminals of the PLC. Our PLC output relays will now complete the circuit if activated to the plus voltage DC, turning the stack light on. We can now turn on the power to the machine or process. Step 4. Test the PLC outputs to control the stack light. After wiring the stack light to the PLC outputs, we will test this to ensure the wiring is correct. This step should be done before programming or running your PLC program. This is often referred to as ringing out the I.O. Call up the data view window of the PLC. You will see that the currently we have an end statement in our program. 
and to the PLC outputs that we have wired to the PLC. Select the on and off of the outputs to see if we have wired this correctly. Step 5. Programming the PLC to control the stack light. We can now program the controller to control the light. When programming a stack light, it is recommended that we have a way to test the functionality. This can be a physical button selected to turn on all the lights and sound, or in our case, when the PLC first powers up. This ensures the stack light is functioning correctly and does not need repair. Follow these best practices when programming the stack light. Use the ladder logic diagram to program the stack light. A ladder logic diagram is a graphical representation of the control logic that uses symbols to represent the control system's inputs, outputs, and functions. Use a separate rung of the ladder logic diagram for each light and horn of the stack light. This will make the programming easier to understand and modify. Use descriptive names for the control system's inputs, outputs, and functions. This will make the program easier to understand and modify. Use timers and counters to control the duration and frequency of the lights and horn. For example, you may want the green light to blink every 10 seconds to indicate that a machine is in operation. Use fault detection and alarm functions to detect and respond to faults in the machine or process. For example, you may want the red light to turn on when the horn to sound if a machine is overheating. A stack light is a valuable tool for displaying the status of a machine or process. To use a stack light with a parameter logic controller or PLC, you need to wire it to an output of the PLC and program the controller to control the light. Follow the best practices discussed in this article to ensure that the stack light operates as intended and provides accurate and reliable feedback to the operator. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.